In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the labeling functionality found in the Contents pane as well as the Map tab. And uh, we'll start with the Table of Contents or the Contents pane. Um, so the, the Contents pane, of course, has several buttons here. The one on the far right hand side is this List by Labeling button, uh, which if you click on it, will list out the layers that are in the map along with the label classes that are associated with that layer. By default, every layer has one label class called Class 1, but it is definitely possible to create multiple label classes. Each label class uh, could be a, a different way of labeling that layer, whether that be based on a SQL statement or uh, just the fact that you may want to label uh, differently at, at different zoom levels. But uh, every layer will, will have at least one of these classes. Um, all right, so uh, right now I have the, the map selected but if I select parcels of course that initiates the feature layer context menu from there I can click the labeling tab and what you'll notice here um, when we look back at the contents panes we have our, our layer name and as well as the class name and of course there are checkboxes here and uh, so these correspond to uh, on the labeling tab the label toggle uh, this enable labeling toggle button as well as the checkbox for labeling features in this class and so <clears throat> These are essentially the same thing. These uh, toggle buttons and check, bar, bu check boxes are the same as what you see in the table of contents pane. So for example, if I come to the contents pane and I turn off class one, you'll notice it also turns it off up here uh, in the uh, labeling tab. And if I turn it back on, it turns it back on. Clicking the checkbox for the layer itself is the same thing as clicking the toggle button. So if I click here, you'll notice that the toggle button changes from blue to gray and uh, the labels for that layer are no longer uh, enabled. Right? And if I check it again, it turns it on. Right? And you can do the same thing from the uh, uh, labeling tab by clicking on that. <clears throat> All right, so not a whole lot going on there, but it's a quick way of turning uh, label classes on and off for a layer if you need to do so from the contents pane. Um, but again, multiple ways of doing things as, as is the case with a lot of things in, in ArcGIS Pro. Now, the other, th other thing we want to look at in this, <clears throat> excuse me, in this demonstration is uh, some of the labeling functionality found on the Map tab. So if I click on the Map tab and look up far right-hand side here under the Labeling section, there are a number of buttons here. First one we'll look at is Pause. This allows you to pause labeling, right? So sometimes, uh, because labeling is a dynamic process, sometimes if you have a, a lot of features that uh, have complex labeling, sometimes it can take a long time to label those features. And so this provides you with a way of pausing the drawing of those, uh, of those labels. So for example, if I kind of zoom out here, you'll notice it starts spinning and spinning, spinning, spinning. Uh, maybe I want to just pause it at this point, right? So if I click pause, you'll notice it pause the drawing. And uh, now I can also refresh this if I want, and then it will redraw those labels as needed. But this pause button, well, it just redraws it, but the pause button here uh, allows you to pause the drawing of labels. Other things here, there's a lock button here that allows you to lock labeling in the current map. Uh, here, what's gonna, what will take place, and these are all kind of toggle buttons, right? If you click them, they're, they're toggled on. If you click them again, they're toggled off. And um, so they, these are generally toggle buttons. So what locking will do is locking, if it's turned on, is going to label the data from a label cache. So there's a cache uh, which uh, you know gets populated with labels. And uh, rather than redrawing them dynamically, what it'll do is, is pull those labels from the cache instead. Uh, now, you can also view unplaced labels. Uh, and uh, so to kind of get a better feel for what this does, I'm going to go ahead and click the button here for view unplaced. You'll notice it's spinning. And eventually what it will do is it will draw in any labels that were unplaced. So, and let me turn it off again just so it kind of explain what's going on here. So what you'll see is that um, some of these features are not labeled, right? And if a feature is not labeled, that's because there was some sort of contention, right? Uh, contention for space uh, generally. Right? And so uh, there's either uh, overlap between some labels so that it couldn't place those labels or there's some type of contention going on. So so if you really want to view uh, any labels that weren't placed for, for one reason or another, some type of contention issue, you can click on this uh, view unplaced labels and what it will do is it will draw those, go ahead and draw those labels, but it will draw them in a different color so that you can kind of see them uh, which labels were, were unplaced.
And there's some other things here. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. The main thing to point out here is this use Maplex label engine. This is the default labeling engine for ArcGIS Pro. And uh, by default, so since it's the default labeling engine, it's going to be turned on. You see the little checkbox there. That just indicates that Maplex is uh, the, the default labeling engine. That's what's in use now. Now, if you click this, what it will do is, is it will switch to the standard labeling engine. And you'll get a little message here that is prompting you to switch, making sure that uh, you know you're going to lose some labeling properties that you may have set. So if you click less yes here, then it's going to switch from Maplex labeling engine to the uh, to the standard labeling engine, which is which is not nearly doesn't have nearly the complexity in terms of how it can place labels. So uh, I'll just cancel it here. That's the main thing to point out here. There are other things that that are available here from this. Uh, uh, this drop down menu, but these are more advanced types of topics that we'll look at in, uh, uh, in a future demonstration. All right, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me.